this is the video that's coming from iPhone 14 Pro 4K at 30 FPS. It's using the onboard microphone. And this is the Sony ZV-1 using the onboard microphone as well. 4K at 30 FPS using the manual mode. These are not apples to apples comparison. Of course, iPhone 14 Pro is a phone, while Sony ZV-1 is a camera. But both devices are good for vlogging. So today we will answer the question, is it better to use an iPhone 14 Pro or using a Sony ZV-1? Hi everyone, this is JD, your Gadget Review friend. Welcome and welcome back to Gadget Drive Now. I got this request of comparing these two devices, how they will perform during vlogging, and how will they compare to each other. This is another camera versus smartphone comparison. We will test the video quality, the audio quality, the stabilization, the low light, and the extra features. Let's go to work. First, let's start with the video quality test. Right now, I'm using the Sony ZV-1 4K at 30 FPS. I'm saving it using the XAVC format. Also, there's no shotgun microphone, lapel, or wireless microphone. This is the onboard microphone of the camera. In terms of pricing, the Sony ZV-1 is the cheaper of the two. Less than one grand in Canadian dollars. It has a one-inch sensor and it's larger than what we have on the iPhone 14 Pro. It has an equivalent of 24 to 70 millimeter. The Sony ZV-1 has a product showcase capability. This is very handy for showcasing anything in front of you and for a camera, the autofocus is pretty amazing. Look at the background blur and the image quality, the autofocus. For image quality and video quality, I believe that Sony ZD1 is an upgrade over smartphones. Now we're switching to the iPhone 14 Pro using the onboard microphone. This is the same distance as the Sony ZD1 and this is the field of view that you will create using the main sensor. I will be switching this to the ultra wide lens. And this is the field of view using the ultra wide lens. Again, 4K at 30 FPS. You can also use the cinematic mode of the iPhone 14 Pro to blur the background of your videos. I think that the background blur on the Sony ZD1 is better than the iPhone 14 Pro. Honestly, the background blur on iPhone 14 Pro is not perfect, but usable for the most part. I think in terms of video quality and image quality, the iPhone 14 Pro and the Sony ZV-1 are pretty close. Again, because the Sony ZV-1 has manual function and color grading, it is more versatile than the smartphone. But as you can see, the auto mode of iPhone 14 Pro, the cinematic, the ultra wide, and the regular video is pretty good. Although Sony ZV-1 has a bigger sensor, the iPhone 14 Pro also has a big sensor that is good for low light. So for me, on a controlled environment like a talking head, the iPhone 14 Pro is as good as Sony ZV-1. Now we will test the audio performance of the two devices. The audio quality in vlogging is more important than video for me because if the people can't hear you well, they will click out of your video. So this is the onboard microphone of the Sony ZV-1. You're hearing my voice right now using the onboard microphone. I think it is set to 26 for the audio level. Now we're switching to the external microphone. Now we're using an external microphone. You can also use a wireless microphone or a shotgun mic, but for this test, I don't move around, so a lapel mic is good enough. For the external microphone, we lower down the volume to 18, so this is my voice using an external microphone. What do you think? We're switching to the iPhone 14 Pro. An iPhone 14 Pro it is. This is the audio that's coming from the onboard microphone of the iPhone 14 Pro. By the way, we will also compare Sony ZV-1 to Pixel 7 Pro. It has speech enhancement, and I thought that would be a great fight. And now we're switching to the external microphone. And now this is the audio that's coming out of the external microphone. We need to use a lightning to headphone jack adapter to achieve this on iPhone 14 Pro. The lapel should have a TRRS for the audio to work properly. So while testing the audio of these two devices, I won't be able to hear the audio of the Sony ZV-1 and the iPhone 14 Pro. Leave your comment below, which is better, the Sony ZV-1 or the iPhone 14 Pro? This is the audio quality of the Sony ZV-1 outdoors and this is the audio quality of iPhone 14 Pro outdoors. We are now moving to the stabilization test of these two devices and we are starting with the Sony ZV-1. For slower movement like this, like walking, I think the super steady shot is pretty good. Well, for iPhone 14 Pro, the stabilization is pretty impressive. It is so much better compared to Sony ZV-1. It has sensor shift OIS, which is an in-body stabilization. It's pretty darn good. We are now testing a milder movement, so we're checking the stabilization when running. The Sony ZV-1 is a little shaky. Still acceptable, but it's not the best for this kind of movement. 
Well, iPhone 14 Pro is built for this type of videos. Again, the sensorship OIS is so much better compared to the gyroscopic stabilization of Sony ZV-1. Now we're pitting the action mode of iPhone 14 Pro versus the super style shot of Sony ZV-1. Now we're comparing the reach of these two devices. The Sony ZV-1 is from 24mm to 70mm full frame equivalent. Well, for iPhone 14 Pro, it also starts at 24mm. The telephoto is 77mm. There's also 2x crop and 13mm for the ultra wide lens. And lastly, low light condition or the low light test. Sony ZD-1 is versatile and you can set the manual settings. Because of the brighter 1 inch sensor, I set the aperture to 1.8, the brightest. I set the shutter speed and ISO to auto. And even though the light changes from dark to bright conditions and vice versa, you will see that the video quality never change. It is still good and will perform better than smartphones. While for iPhone 14 Pro, your viewers will know that you're using a smartphone. It is not good for low-light production. Because of the smaller sensor, it is noisier, darker, and honestly, unusable. This may still work on iPhone 14 Pro, but you have to use lights which defeat the purpose of portability. So after comparing iPhone 14 Pro with the Sony ZV-1, recommendations. I will go with the Sony ZV-1 if you're vlogging on a more controlled environment and low light, more of talking head content and using it on a tripod. The video and audio quality of this camera is impressive and the product showcase function is a great feature too. This camera will impress. On the other hand, I will recommend iPhone 14 Pro more on travels and adventures when you are in need of quick access to all features like slow motion, time lapses, night shot, and even action mode. The video stabilization is the best quality and can mimic the cinematic blur of a proper camera. If you want to travel lighter and it's waterproofing, whether skiing or swimming, iPhone 14 Pro is more versatile and IP68 rated. At the end of the day, choose the camera that will suit your shooting style, and it's not about the gear, it's about you and your delivery. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare the Zoni Z1 with the Pixel 7 Pro next, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.